Hello, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll be seeing the second part of our EVS chapter and the title of the chapter is Aquatic Plants. Okay, so last video we have seen what are terrestrial plants, that is the plants that live in land. Now we are going to see what is aquatic plants. So the plants that are adapted to survive in water. Okay, the plants that grow in water are called your aquatic plants. So based on this, aquatic plants are categorized to three types. Okay, so the first one is called floating plants. What is the first one? Floating plants. The second one is called fixed plant. What is it? Fixed plant. And the third one is called underwater plants. Okay, the third one is called underwater plants. So now shall we see one by one? Okay. Now shall we start with the first one which is called floating plants. What are they called? Floating. So you know what is floating? It will be moving on the surface of water. Okay. So when you take this floating plants, the first thing is about their roots. They have fibrous root. What is it? Fibrous root. Okay. And these roots are not fixed to the bottom of the water. They just float under the surface of water. Okay. And when you take about the leaf, okay, the roots we do, they are fibrous, they are not fixed to the bottom, they just float under the surface of water. So coming to the leaf, the leaves are floating on the surface of water, okay. So we know leaves are needed for preparing food. So chlorophyll leaves trap sunlight and carbon dioxide for making the food. And the top region of the leaf, that is, the top surface of the leaf contain chlorophyll because that is the only part which is above water, right? So this chlorophyll traps sunlight for preparing food, okay? So coming to the leaf, they are present, they are floating on the surface of the leaf and they prepare the food by photosynthesis, okay? Okay, the leaf floats and these plants are light and spongy. What are they? They are light and spongy for facilitating easy floating okay if they are light and spongy it facilitates floating okay now what are the examples of your floating plant your duck weed what is it duck weed water hyacinth water hyacinth and your lettuce lettuce okay so these are the examples of your floating plants, okay? So coming to the second one, which is called your fixed plants, okay? So fixed plants have their roots fixed to the bottom of the pond. Here we told the roots are floating under the surface. In fixed plants, the roots are fixed to the bottom, okay? So about the roots, they are fixed. They have fixed roots, okay? And another speciality here is about the stems. Okay. So the stems are light, hollow, flexible, long. Okay. So they have long, light, hollow and flexible stem. So they can move according to the waves of the water and they do not get uprooted. That is why they are having this specialized stems. Okay, so the leaves as you know they will be floating on the surface. Okay, so what are the examples of your fixed plant? Yes, the national flower. What is the national flower? Lotus, very good. So it is lotus and water lily. Is it clear? So lotus and water lily are the examples for your fixed plants. So coming to the third one is your underwater plants. What are they called? Underwater plants. So as the term, they are fully submerged inside the water. Okay, they are fully present inside the water. So fully inside your water. Okay, so these plants have thin, narrow, ribbon-like leaf. What is the leaf? Thin, narrow, ribbon-like leaves are present. Okay. And these plants do not have stomata, no stomata. So you know stomata is tiny openings present under the surface of your leaf for transpiration, right? 
So these plants, underwater plants, do not have stomata. Stomata is absent. And they absorb carbon dioxide is needed, right? So they absorb the carbon dioxide from the aquatic animals through their body for preparing the food, okay? So these are the three main types of aquatic plants. Uh, I forgot to tell you the example. The example is pond weed, tape grass, hydrilla. Okay, tape grass and hydrilla. So with this we came to an end of your aquatic plants. The different types of aquatic plants. We'll just have a small recap. The first one is called floating plants. Okay. So floating plants, you know, they have fibrous root, leaf floats on the surface and they are light and spongy. Example is your duckweed, water hyacinth, water lettuce. Coming to the second type, which is called fixed plant. So fixed plants have fixed root. What do they have? Fixed root. Stems are light, hollow, flexible and long to facilitate easy movement by the waves. And examples is your lotus and water lily. The third one is called underwater plants. So we know they are fully submerged inside the water. And they have thin ribbon-like leaf. These leaves do not contain stomata. Examples are pondweed, tape grass and hydrilla. So thank you for watching. We will be continuing this next part in the next video. Take care, be safe and be happy.